In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the outer tie rod ends on this Audi A4. These are gonna be located behind the front wheels. Let's get into it. In the trunk, lift up where the spare tire is. You can see where the toolbox is right here. Just lift the handle, slide this out. You can open this up. Inside. Here's the ring that we're looking for. Now using the tool from the trunk, just put that in the hole in the center cap and you can pull the center cap out. Using a 17 millimeter socket, take the lug bolts off. Before I take the last one, I'm just going to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall. Grab the wheel, slide it off. Now using a 21 millimeter wrench or 13 sixteenths, loosen up the jam nut. There we go, that's loose. We're going to take this bolt off, use a 13 millimeter socket. out. Using a 16 millimeter socket, take this nut off. And we're going to hammer that bolt out. I'm just going to put the nut on a couple threads and just give it a tap with a hammer. Just tap it out. I'm just going to use a punch just so I don't damage anything. Just tap this out. Pushed it in a little bit. There we go. Pull that bolt out. Just gonna use a punch and just hammer it down. There we go. And take the tie rod, the outer tie rod, and we're gonna spin it out. You want to make sure you count the threads so when you put it back together you can get it as close as possible. So one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So twenty-five, write that number down. Take the outer tie rod in, get that started, and then you're gonna count to the number that you wrote down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 23, 24, 25. And then just take the jam nut, slide that closer. You can see where there's a slot in the tie rod and the slot needs to line up with that hole for the bolt. So you can take a 10 millimeter hex socket, just rotate that so that's going to line up. Get it lined up with the knuckle, I can tap it up. If it looks like it needs to, you can just twist it. Take the bolt, slide that through the back side. Take the nut, get that started. Snug that down slightly. I'm not gonna torque that yet, just slightly snug. Then take the bolt, get that started up top. Snug that bolt down. And torque this nut to 33 foot pounds. Torque 
torque this top bolt to 43 inch pounds. And we're gonna tighten up the jam nut. I'm gonna use an 18 millimeter wrench on the back side and a 7 8 or a 22 millimeter wrench on the nut. Snug that down. And if you can torque this, you wanna to torque that to 30 foot pounds. Now take the wheel, install the wheel, get the hole lined up. Take the lug bolt, get that started. Once you get one in, you can let go of the wheel and get the other one started. And snug those down. Now I'm going to torque the lug bolts to 90 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Just going to go around again, double check. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. Take the center cap, you can line that circle, the hole with the valve stem, and push it on. Take the little hook, put it back in the tool kit, and close it up. Put it back where it goes, lift the handle, and put the handle down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.